Hello, this is the three card oracle draw for the week of January 27th through February 2nd. So as always, get yourself into a comfortable position. Start focusing on your breath, taking those deep cleansing breaths all the way down in through your heart chakra, your solar plexus. Allowing that to balance you. As I shuffle, continue your breath work. This is the prelude to my energy update. If you haven't listened to that yet on my YouTube channel here, go ahead and look into my playlist. Look under the energy update for January 27th through the February 2nd. Lots of good messages there as we are going forward into the last week of January. We are being asked to be free thinkers. Being the visionary of the higher perspective, allowing our intuition, our all-seeing, third eye, crown chakra, lead the way forward. If you're feeling a lot of resistance in your body, huge time, I need to do it myself. Get out, get yourself physical, 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 physical. Move that body, move that dense energy through you. And out of you. Great time for energy work. So if you go for Reiki or massage, I'm going to schedule a massage here. That's what I was just laying in bed last night thinking. Time to get this energy moving through us so it don't stick. And I know it has for me. So sciatica issue for no apparent reason other than slippery here in Michigan. So I did uh, lose my fitting. But it went to the weak spot in my body. So physical activity is coming up huge. Continue this breath work. Release any tension that you feel in your muscles to be released. Okay, guys. So if you chose card number one. This card is a six plus three, so this is a completion number. You are at an end of a cycle. This is asking you to take your upper crown chakra connection with spirit, cosmic energy, rooted, rooted in your foundation, who you truly are, the middle world, seeing through the illusions of that. We're going through constant changes, constant endings, constant shifting right now. Um... With this red and this fire too, you know, that's rebirth, right? And so we still have Pluto and Capricorn um, revealing the Lord of Karma, Saturn, still right there with Pluto in Capricorn. Old structures being shaken. Old structures falling away that don't have integrity. So from for me to me, this is the middle world of keeping your roots grounded, allowing that connection with your crown chakra third eye to be really anchored into your heart space and allowing yourself to see above very aquarian right um see above what's going on being rooted being anchored in your body being the light worker that you are allowing the transformation of the death and the rebirth right and being present being in your body so that's huge. And number two, if you chose card two, the hunter. This is also a completion number. Seven plus two is nine. Um, I'm going to read from this one. This is really, to me, just really merging, right? Our primal human instincts, purging them with our possibly the feminine, that that individual looks very feminine maybe this is the mars square venus that we're going through right now this is what i'm getting with this very masculine with mars which would to me you know the bear i don't know why i'm saying that isn't a male but it's not it's masculine the doer the hunter but merging that in the heart chakra with the feminine and allowing this completion of the very Mars Venus um, square that we have right now, really asking us to merge 
that would go hand in hand if you chose card number one too, merging that in the body and being anchored in your body, right? That's pretty, that's beautiful. If you get something more off the image of the card, please do put it in the comments. I love people's interaction. I try to reply to everybody that comes in right now. So let's read this. Before the dawn of ag agriculture, we hunted in the forest to feed our kin. The hunter never takes more than what the village needs to survive, often taking only one creature, the good kill. He is the master tracker who knows which path to follow to find success. So this is huge, a beautiful time to bring into your awareness. Am I taking more than I need? Um, over consumerism is a huge thing that's going to be looked at, you know, as of now going forward because we're depleting Gaia. And we can't do that. And this is all resources, right? Only taking what you need. Don't take um, anything more than that. Being the hunter, but also giving thanks, right, to any bounty, whether it be love or whether it be that you have food on your table. Um, so another thing, too, is kind of symbolically relying on your own resources. What is it in your life force energy that drives you forward and is that what you rely on? I think that's a beautiful way to track that within yourself as well. It's also, to me, very, very symbolic of the Mars Uranus or Mars Venus square that we have going on. Squares can be hard aspects, but squares get things done. So, how are you doing with giving and receiving? Are you balanced? Are you in harmony with that? That's a huge, that's beautiful too. This is such a beautiful deck. This is by Colette Baron Reed. If anybody's interested, it is the Mystical Shaman. Seven, highly spiritual number. There's many paths. If you chose card number three, <clears throat> this is that you're at a crossroads. I'm seeing the sun here in the horizon. Very Aquarian, right? Forward thinking and the collective energy of. Um, they're also known as the water bear. So going out there and getting the water water and gathering that for tribal. How are you doing with where you're at right now? We have many opportunities, many paths ahead of us, laid out before us. Keep rising to the, the higher picture of high vibrations of love. We do have a lot of cosmic energy coming into the planet right now too. And so this with the sun and the um, horizon... Um, Choose the path which is best for you at this time. Allow yourself to see the bigger picture. And I think this goes hand in hand too with the decision making and a lot of the old things falling away. Um, it's really our free will. And that's where I'm seeing with the, the many paths. Always choose your free will. Stay in your authenticity in your own lane. You won't go wrong when you're led by the heart. So that's a beautiful message. Let's see. If you didn't check out the energy update yet for this week, that is a collective energy for the whole. Great message there as well. So if you chose card number one, one more time, middle world, endings, death and rebirth. It's all a part of life. If we don't love, we've, you know, if we haven't lost, we wouldn't know what love is. Kind of balancing that out, anchoring that into the middle world, being very strongly rooted in that. Um, I know for me, I wasn't really even present in my body until after I was age 40. So it's telling us to take action in the middle world. We're here as an earth experience right now as spiritual beings. And so it's maybe um, indication for your light workers empaths that you really can embody that light and spread your love dust everywhere, right? The hunter, only taking what you need. This means really a balancing out your give and take. Um, harmonizing the masculine feminine within you. Another seven. I mean, we got two cards that are nines and completions. We're going through so many layers and purging right now. So keep that in mind. Do give thanks when you do receive, you know. And it's really about balancing the both. And, and giving thanks for the bounty, right? No matter what it is. Roof over your head, heat in your house. Um, that's beautiful. Chose three, you chose many paths. 
showing that center lane with the heart chakra the heart in the middle of that with all the cosmic energy we do have a lot of cosmic energy integrating into our dense bodies right now make good choices co-create what you want if your body's speaking to you to get into motion like mine is then please do so um choose the high road this is very aquarian this is free thinking this is your spiritual you know aquarius and top three chakras throat chakra third eye chakra crown chakra um, allowing that illuminated heart to choose the path, whatever you choose. And if you're always led by your heart, there is no wrong in that. So I send these to you. I hope they resonate with you. Please do like, subscribe, share if you're interested. Many other playlists on my channel. I'm Deanna with Divine Destiny, Empowering Empaths. And I look forward to seeing you the next time. Namaste.